Hi, welcome to Measure Marketer. My name is Prashant and in this video we will learn about the difference between a regular tagging and a server side tagging. Remember when you implement Google Analytics tracking code on your website, whether you directly place the code on your website or you place this code through a tag management solution like Google Tag Manager. So remember in this example I will be using Google Tag Manager. So you deploy Google Tag Manager code in the head section and whenever people visit your website your browser makes a request to Google Tag Manager and Google Tag Manager loads the Google Analytics tag and when Google Analytics tag loads it makes a request to Google Analytics servers and these servers are located at google-analytics.com slash collect that is the end point right so this is how uh, whenever people go from one page to other page the browser makes a request to uh, the the tag manager and tag manager in turn again makes a, a call to google analytics and google analytics calls the server which is at google-analytics.com slash collect but what if people visit your websites and have ad blockers on the request that the google analytics code makes to google analytics server which is at google-analytics.com slash collect will be blocked because it is making a request to an external third party which is primarily focused on tracking and ad blockers are meant to block these kind of external javascript codes which are primarily meant for tracking the user behavior and activity so when 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 ad blockers are becoming so prevalent how do you still try to find a way to send the data to analytics servers introducing to you server side tagging and when you implement server side tagging what we do is we have one website gtm which we call it as web gtm and then we create one more gtm called server side gtm and this server side gtm will be hosted on google cloud and what we do is we configure that google cloud to be mapped to our custom domain and when you implement server side tagging like this when a browser makes a request the website gtm loads and gtm loads the analytics library and the analytics library now rather than making a request to google servers which is located at google-analytics.com it now makes a request to our cloud and our cloud is mapped to our subdomain and since this is no more a third party but a solid first party because the data the request is going to our domain rather our subdomain but still it is first party and no third party ad blockers can block it and once our gtm which is configured in the cloud and mapped to our subdomain receives that request the gtm server side container does all the operations takes the request there is something called client inside of gtm server side container the client accepts the request and forwards that request to the endpoint which is google analytics server this is how we circumvent the tracking that was deployed on the browser in the form of ad blockers and still find a way and send the data to analytics servers with the implementation of server side tagging.